The forces of Sauron continue to prove themselves a worthy opponent. Although our Easterling warriors are better equipped and better trained, the sheer size of the armies of Mordor cannot be rivaled. Our greatest strength, however, is our ingenuity and wit, as the technologies developed by our Alchemist Guild have passed our battlefield tests with flying colours. Our Dragon Warriors, Cast Chosen and Dragonwrath Crossbows have given us victory throughout many theatres of war. Now the Alchemists of Lest have provided Mukalku's battalion with a prototype of a new siege weapon, the Dragon's Breath capable of launching firebombs with great accuracy over long distances. Sauron shall defy us no longer. Greetings my friends and welcome back for the 29th episode of our Empire of Rune campaign in Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer AGO. And we are immediately beginning this episode with a battle against Captain Lactag to avenge our fallen brother uh, what was his name again? Rahu. Rahu's Trials. Yes, that was the name of the previous episode. Unfortunately, he passed away, but we are going to avenge him. Mr. Lokar Rukar himself has sallied out of Baratkar to uh, lay down the law upon this ugly, ugly orc. We shall all find a way to an honorable victory! Alright, here we go. The name of the game is not to win this battle, because I kind of assume that is a bit of a given. But it will be to win the battle with minimal casualties. Because I've been doing some thinking, it's the kind of stuff I think about during my uh, during my otherwise boring workday. I'm like, how can I spice up my campaign? How can I do better in the rune campaign? And I think... Mm, oh, I'm going to put the ballista in front, just for the max range. I think the most important element right now is that Mordor is going to spam us to death unless we put a stop to that. So if I just stay here with Rukar and Baratkar, he will slowly but surely get uh, chipped away at, which is the last thing we want. Um, and what I need is just more troops. And what I've been doing right now is training a lot of units in my Runic Heartlands, uh, the area around Mistrand, um, until I have like a full banner army, and then I send them somewhere to deal some damage. And based on your feedback, I, th I don't think that's uh, the right way to do it. I think instead we're going to have to opt... Let's take down that ballista. Uh, opt instead to just send troops to the front lines whenever they're ready. So we'll make like a nice supply train of units all the way from Mistran towards Izzy Town to um, Baratkar. Just to try and overwhelm Mordor. We do have Mukalku coming in. He'll definitely help out quite a bit. Uh, the war with Dol Guldur, I do think we have sufficient troops to finish off Dol Guldur with Kavatha and then the new army uh, fuck, arriving in the uh, the north. So I think we're, we're good there. For example, this, uh, we not hit it yet. It. I think we are good there. Oh, no, that's not what I intended to do. But uh, in terms of, you know, trying to beat Mordor, we are definitely lacking troops. There are still a lot of settlements from Mordor that can spam out orcs like there's no tomorrow. These Black Hooks, for example, they are... They're not great, but they're pretty good. And they are much more readily available than my troops, so... That is uh, enough reason for me to try and put an end to that. That might prove to be difficult. Alright, we've taken that two ballista, nice. Fuck you! Alright, they are the Muhar tribesmen. I'm actually going to send in the Shadow Guard to fuck them up. We push the dragon warriors forward. Alright, Black Hooks, I'm going to send in my Fang Legion. And then get some support from the cavalry. Victory is well within our the Moranan Guard should have gotten destroyed, I yes. See this and lose heart. Yeah, you will lose heart, motherfucker. But these Black Hooks, you know, they're not they're not elite. They're pretty good. It's a good thing Sauron can't really spam his most elite units, we'd be in a lot of trouble. If he could spam like his Sauron's will or, you know, his temple units. I guess that's good reason to take uh, Durthang, the castle, to get rid of those uh, Black Numenorians. Alright, I'm going to pull back my ballista. I was actually talking to Pythax yesterday, who is the developer of the Divide and Conquer Extended Edition submod, which I hope to feature on the channel uh, when it's in uh, a more playable state. And he was talking about my uh, my Aradonaim campaign, which I did like a year ago. 
And it kind of got me thinking, I kind of want to do another Out of the Name campaign. I know I typically do campaigns I haven't done yet, with some exceptions. And I have done the Out of the Name campaign, you know, only last year. But it's it's such a fun campaign, and it's also got so much replayability. Uh, and, and also, the Out of the Name have been changed a lot now, with um, the updates made by, by Castellan. So in a way, it would be it would be kind of a fresh campaign, right? I know Gala did the same thing. He's doing another Dada Dynamic campaign, even though he did one not that long ago. So I'm not sure what you guys think about that. Would you be interested in seeing another Dada Dynamic campaign? Of course, we'd be starting somewhere completely different. I'm not sure where. I haven't really given that much thought, but it would be something fresh. All right, get your cavalry out of there. But yeah, that that still is one of my favorite campaigns. They have quickly become one of my favorite factions in the game. Uh, Dragon Warriors... Ooh, yeah, see, my calf's getting destroyed now. I should have sent in the Legion first and then the calf. Surprised these Orc Maulers aren't rising yet. Come on, break! There we go. I think I finished that battle with minimal casualties. 6%, and it's Rukar, so we'll probably heal quite a nice amount of troops. 79, that is 5%. We we'll healed 1%. Okay, so that's not too bad. Perfect. Alright, let's execute them. You know what? I actually need more than anything else? A spy. Because I'd love to take this most southern settlement here just so we have a more clearly defined border. But I have no idea what kind of army I'd need to capture that region. Um, do I have a... Do I, where are my spies, anyway? Let's see. Spies, 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 spies. Mirkwood, that's a little far. Wooden Drum, that's a little far. Western Mirkwood, <laughs> they're all in Mirkwood, god damn it. Naked Hill, okay. Another one in Mirkwood. I mean, having vision in Mirkwood is useful, but... I'm going to move you towards Karaz Galathon. Can I recruit a spy in Barat Kar, for example? can get a diplomat. I don't need that. I need a spy. Alright, first things first. Mukalku. Have I done all my moving in this turn? I guess I did. See, I could send over a small-ish force just with the ballista. Or I could send, actually, I could send Rukar and have a small garrison in Baratkar. We don't need a lot of troops to hold back any attacks, but that card is quite defendable, especially if I keep those dragon warriors there. Okay, here's what we'll do. I'm gonna put two units of dragon warriors in drag Barat Kar. I'm gonna get the dragon riders out. Uh, Rukar, you will lead an attack down south, just because you're very strong on an open field. Cavalry is not needed to defend Barat Kar. Pikes, very helpful. I'm just gonna, like, really get an army together just for the defense of Barat Kar. I also only need one ballista. And then I'll send this army. It's really nothing too crazy, but it should be enough to claim none. Um, there we go. I think that is the way. Yeah, there's a settlement here as well, but we don't care too much about that one just yet. And then Captain Emor, maybe I'll, I'll move you to Barat Card instead. Yeah, you're going over, but you're, you're going to arrive before I can. Ratanak. So, yeah, I think it's pretty clear that I just need to send troops over whenever they're done. Um, so we'll meet up here for now, just to see what we can assemble. Am I trading more troops? No. Well, let's get on that right away. Okay, we're trading them there. Mr. Ant, you're trading. We got these lads ready to go. Keep you moving south. Mukalku, you are going to be so important. The plan with Mukalku is to take down Luktak and then... Either take down Gelebrin real quick, and then move towards, like, Durthang, Urkestalat, those settlements. And once I can, like, scoop out Mordor, we're, we're laughing, we're laughing. Kavatha will take Dolguldur. We do have the forces coming in with Admiral Zubin. He'll be arriving in the next turn. So let's get our generals ready for warfare. Uh, so they can take this. Actually, what is the best approach? There's no road here, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, we'll go this way, yeah. That's where we will meet up. March into their lands, take them down, no problem. 
Do we have any spare units? I got a spare. You know what? I'll actually got the spare general. They all have governors, right? Yes. Fernando's archers also have a governor. So Kushan, you can actually join them, just so you can be a governor and these guys can continue the, the bloodshed. Alright, I think I've built everywhere that I wanted to build. I think I'm training everywhere that I really can train. So I think I'm ready to press the end turn. We might get attacked at Chelka. Which, uh... uh annoying! <laughs> I don't like Kant. Kant's probably one of my least favorite factions to fight against. Same goes to uh, Vanilla Medieval too. Mongols, ugh. They're just annoying. Because they're hard to catch. And you need to have the right troop composition. Uh, right, this battle. I, I, I kind of forgot that I was being besieged in Golden Boat. So that's a bit of an annoyance. I'm not even going to bother doing this fight because I can't win that. Clear the I could have killed more than one. So be it. We'll reclaim that later. It is but a small footnote in the annals of Rune. Golden Boat. And now they rename it Brown Boat again, probably. <laughs> Dill Gold or Green Boat, or whatever they want to call it. Evil Boat. Alright, uh, a seated Chalkar. I will be fighting this one because I am confident I can win this one. He's got some Ushixia Storm Riders, which is uh, annoying. Lots of cavalry as well. But like 31 swordsmen, 20 tribesmen, 22 horse archers. Just a really random army. But I think, 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 think we'll be fine just like last time. Alright, let's kill them. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. We got this. Let's just set up in a sensible position. He's got a ballista. They're probably going to make like holes here and here and here. Um, I do want to put my troops on the wall. We'll pull back if we have to. Um, Alright. I'm just going to stick my infantry here. And wait for them to make the first move. See which hole they make. I could use my cat. Oh, I'm not going to use my cavalry. So we'll just leave them in the town square for now. And then the ballista. If I can place it here. Mm, I can't get it any closer. But last time we had pretty good results. Shooting down. Oh, that was over there. Shooting down when they were blocked up over here. So if we can repeat that. They might just go for this section of the wall right away, because that's one still destroyed from the previous battle. Uh, don't bother fighting on the ballista. You're not gonna hit. You're not gonna kill them. No, you are gonna kill some of them, but you're gonna waste so much ammo and they're gonna still have enough lads to fight. Unless if I do... Hmm, I could do a YOLO charge. I'll send in my weakest dragon riders. Because then they have to use like their ladders and rams and that's a whole lot less effective. Alright, move down. So I happily sacrifice one of my cav units for that. It's not like they got anything else going on. Please hurry, calf! They're trying to destroy my precious wall. Can't let that happen. Judge. Fuck you, can't. You should have joined me when you had that chance. All right, please kill enough, because they will not like that. Yeah, they're already sending them in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Kill them, kill them, kill them. Eleven. That is still way too many. Seven. Uh, six. Just a couple more. These guys are running away now. Do not let them escape. Five, four. Yes, they're routing. That's good enough for me. By the time they'll come back, we'll... Oh, fuck. They're going for this this hole in the wall. Fuck, 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 fuck. I should have seen that coming. Alright, lads. You need to move as f fucking fast as you can. Get Bolton. Arches as well. Uh, I'm just pausing so I can give all the commands. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Run, 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 run. Uh, Ballista, you need to get in position. I will put a cav unit there just to act as a, a way to keep them busy in case the cavalry of theirs arrives before my infantry does, which they will absolutely do. But he's also sending in his rams there. I might have just made the situation harder on myself. Ooh, pull back. Hurry, hurry, hurry. They're being way too slow. Ah, oh, frick. Don't leave that gate open to leave the enemy in. Yes, yes, yes. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on. Look at my men scrambling. <laughs> like, oh, shit. We weren't prepared for this. Alright. Alright. 
Uh, keep them busy. Runic Dragon Riders, keep them occupied. The uh, Ballast is gonna start fighting soon. Alright. Oh, they got the fucking Ushuxia Storm Riders. If I only had my, my Javelin Boys. I do have my Javelin Boys. Throw those Javelins! If those guys fire, we are screwed. Oof. Throw, throw, throw! Ah, this is this is bad. This is really bad. Those Ushuxia Storm Riders are gonna destroy the little infantry I've got. Why isn't my ballista fighting? You have the clearest lines I've ever seen. Alright, we're taking down the Storm Riders. Good. Ah, oh, frick, they're coming on the fucking walls there. Right. Yeah, I know, I know. I almost regret not having the ballista now to have them just destroy part of the wall and let that be the end of that. Oh no, don't send in cav against the Ushuxia Storm Riders, they'll destroy me. These guys destroy cavalry. But I gotta do something. If they're not charging, then it's not so bad. And we can actually take them down. If they are charging, then our cavalry is hopeless. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not gonna lie, this is looking pretty damn grim. This is looking pretty damn grim. Taking down the Ushuxia Storm Riders will definitely help though. Okay, oh, they're actually routing. Ah, you little bitches. How do I get those horse archers? Ballista! Man your stations! Towers working overtime. The Claw Legionnaires doing their best. I tried about to get sandwiched. Alright. Our Dragonite should be able to whoop those very horse archers' ass. I'll let you decide whether we're whooping the horse's ass or the rider's ass. This is not looking fantastic. Um. Ballista. No, you can't really do anything from this angle. It really is mostly up to the Claw Legion to kill all their cavalry, but that infantry is coming in now. That's a problem. Okay, their infantry is actually pushing through, which is good. Fight away, Ballista. Fight away! Keep it up! Javelins! Yes! Soldiers of Khand! Can't believe it came to this. But here we are. <laughs> so just do your best. Do what you can. Oh lord. They're coming over there. I'm gonna have to abuse the towers as much as we can. I don't particularly like ashes, so uh rather not, thank you. At least that morale is pretty horrible. So we're actually kinda of clawing back, which is good. It's just this unit of Varyx Horseman, the, the big juicy one, that might prove to be a problem. These Nomad Warriors, they want to fight up on the walls, I think they'll get ravaged by my towers quite efficiently. We're already doing some decent damage to them. And they're also not that strong. Yikes. Alright, let's send in the Step Tribesmen. That will surely frighten the enemy. I'm gonna keep the Ballista fight. Come on Ballista, I thought I put you on fight at will. Right, it resets when you get kicked off the fucking engine. This is annoying. Alright, pull back. He's gonna send in his Varyx Swordsman. It is the prime objective of my Ballista to kill as many of these assholes as possible. Just a couple of blitzes. No! Why are you not? Ah, oh, fuck, where did they come from? Oh, I missed them completely. Alright, we might get them to route. We might get them to route. If we just surround them with cavalry, we might get a route. But that means my ballista's not fighting. Oh uh, no! I really needed a few good shots there. Ah, oh, freak. Oh, and they're surrounding me as well. I'm not giving up these walls. 
That is literally my only path to victory. Or we will taste ashes instead of victory. Dragonites, get out of there. Pull back, Dragonites. I need to keep my cav in there. No, don't charge the south on warband. Damn it. Should have flanked sooner. Alright. Well, time to pray to RN Jesus. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. I think my ballista bit barely anything, which is really annoying. Do they still have troops back there? No, just some runners, I think. Why aren't these archers doing anything? They still have almost all their ammo. It really is just going to come down to our towers, I think. They're the only ones that can actually do some damage. Actually, that was a pretty successful charge. Yes, that was a good charge. Yes, yes, yes! Once more into the breach, my friends! Come on! We're actually pulling this win out of the bag somehow. I have no idea. I didn't know it was in the bag in the first place. Yeah, fuck you, old women! I think... I think we've done it. At one point, they just kind of snapped, and that was the end of that. Wonderful. Wunderbar. I did not expect that. I really thought we'd lose Shoka. <laughs> uh, just a couple of uh, Kandish hunters. My archers are taking care of them. Any day now, come on. Come on, you're making me look bad. There we go, two. Who's even shooting them? I don't see anyone actually fighting. Is it just towers? Uh, it is just towers. Alright, just the one now. Uh, this guy's tough. <laughs> there we go. 62, hopefully we heal quite a bunch. 53, we healed quite a bunch. Yeah, nice. A heroic victory for Babak. What a legend. Yes. Alright, that's another execution right there. Hopefully that's the last of them. I can't imagine Khan just having another army on the standby. You never know what these guys do. Gondor sets out to reclaim Minas Tirith. <laughs> okay, so that's their doom stack. I wish them good luck. So that means Minas Tirith has fallen. Which is both a good thing and a bad thing. The doom stack will keep Mordor occupied, but the fact that Mordor has taken Minas Tirith means they are overpowering Gondor quite, quite heavily. Which, yeah, that's not necessarily a good thing. Alright. Uh, Richest faction. Does that mean we're number one literally everywhere? Yeah! Nice! I'm gonna frame that. Picture that, frame it, put it above my bed. Awesome. Khan does not like me. Yeah, well, that's kind of... That's kind of a you problem, man. Okay. First things first. Let's get this army moving. Khan Amdur. I want you to reach... Enethaur as fast as possible, which is still gonna take a while. Over. Then, I want Mr. Kavatha to lay siege to Dol Guldur. I'm not going to attack Dol Guldur because I think that is absolute suicide. I will siege them out if I must or wait for them to sally out, which seems more likely. They got Castellans, they got Murkwaduruks, Kamul Shadow Knights, this guy's got Kamul Shadow Rangers. Don't want to phase these guys head on in a siege. That I don't, I don't even have any hope of winning that. On a field battle, however, my Cav, I think, can reign supreme. Also, the fact that we have some siege equipment, although they have troll catapults, but I believe they can snipe them. Even on a field battle, that is a hard fight. But I think it's worth it just for the chance of taking Dol Guldur. 12 turns. If I have to wait 12 turns, so be it. What I do need is extra troops. Bayan, you can... That's actually enough troops, I think. I'll send them one extra force to take back the Golden Boat. It was very much necessary. Uh, give me more lads. More! Ah, oh, yes, I can actually train like good units here. I just need more units. Building roads. Ashfield. Can I send out Luke Herurudas yet? No, these people are so unhappy all the time. Literally never. I got big ass garrison here. Well, I'm not gonna wait any longer. I need these troops like pretty badly, so. You will move towards Golden Boat. Kavrad is unhappy. Yeah, well. Tough luck. Alright, we got some more troops here, which I will send towards... I'll send them towards the Golden Gate. Oh, 
We got an orc. Did he sneak his way past the gate or was he from this side of the gate? I have no idea. He looks just as confused as I am. I have no idea where that guy came from. Alright, we can actually make quite a big jump. I'm pretty sure the summit's over here. That's Captain Ratanak. Oh, that's the guy that was attacking Izzy Town, but he backed off, which is perfect. So we don't have to worry about the siege there. Amor, you can go to Baratkar. Right, let's check our construction report. And Mahath got a brothel. Good on you. Um, let's get military lodgings. Okay. Scan got some farms. Becoming a very wealthy settlement. Um, let's get a leather worker there just for extra money. Erin Dolan got the nomadic gathering grounds. Not that I can train anything there. Uh, we'll get the law bonus, right? That's pretty, pretty decent. Yeah, I'll take it. Izzy Town got a trading post. Nice, becoming a very wealthy settlement. Uh, let's get a Mason's Guildhouse. Kurukmaur got a meeting hall. I actually have a decent garrison here. I actually have a lot of troops here. Could use them to take on Khand. But how many troops can I funnel out of the settlement without them rioting? That is the question. Let's just assume I pull out everyone. They're actually still decently happy. I am kind of worried that Harad will betray me. I mean, betray, we don't have any ties right now, but that they'll attack me. How may I serve? But I could possibly send this army to take a... Uh... No, you know what? I'm going to leave these guys in Krukmaur for now. Just because I'm really expecting an attack by uh, Harad. These guys will reinforce Chalka. So that's good. Um... Right, do I have any extra troops? You are moving... No one here. Oh, I got a... I forgot about these units in the fort. You're also going to move towards Izzy Town. Uh, Mukalku. You're going to keep building watchtowers along the way as well. If I'm not mistaken, this army had great beasts, right? Those typically bug out during siege battles, so I could actually win the battle of Farfest pretty easily, but I'll take him out with Mukalku, you know, because it's the honorable thing to do. So you will attack them, then move towards the Golden Gate. Dankalad, we might lose Dankalad. That's really annoying. But it doesn't matter too much. It's not like an important settlement or anything like that. Alright, so we have... Dor, whatever. We got Anathaur. There was a bigger army around here, so I'm not sure where they went. This is still Anduin Vale territory. I'm not sure what territory this is. There's Musgor. He's going towards Erendrunen. Okay, so we'll have to intercept him. Is that the army we fought previously? That is the army we fought previously. Okay, interesting. I think besides Enethaur, Endol Goldur, and Endol Lingvar is there as well. Okay. Might need some more troops to take down Endol Lingvar. Can I get some mercs? I will take Dorwinry mercs. No, it's a shame. Well, I just need more troops then. As always. Caron, can you move out yet? No. Almost, though, I'm sure of it. I'll get some more garrison. So many little banners here. I'm going to move those ships away a little bit because it's a little bit too busy for my liking. There you go. Oh, let's actually combine the fleet. Um, Can I train units here? Yes. Cast Firestorm. I actually still have an extra general here as well at Dragon's Lake. Um... You can govern... Tarfidin has a governor, Emilifuin doesn't have a governor. You can govern Tar... Actually, no, I have an idea. I'm going to send that guy to relieve Mr. Caron from his uh, governance duties. Uh, I really just need more settlements where I can train troops. It still really is all around the Sea of Rune, and then besides that, not a whole lot going on. I think that's a priority. Uh, right, so you're going to move towards Izzy Town. It's going to take you a little bit, but that's okay. More troops, more! Just give me more! I need an endless stream of units. Alright, I could send the cavalry separately so they're faster, but I don't think that's really worth it. <clears throat> Alright, so we're looking good. Rukhar is on his way to take that southern settlement. We are laying siege to Dolguldur. With a bit of luck, they'll already sally out immediately. We just get a big battle. Take Dolguldur. That might trigger Doomstag, though. Whatever. Uh, we got Mukalku coming in, and we got Kanamdur with friends coming in. That was a pretty beefy army. With Yasur as well with his chariots. Two ballista units. 
yeah, that should be plentiful. Dol Guldur isn't exactly the strongest of forces. <clears throat> Can I get anything to Golden Gate? No. Culture is slowly climbing up, but it's going to take a while. What about Adbarat Card? Is that going any quicker? 11%. Uh, slightly. Uh, let's retrain them. Probably give them like a small bonus. And on to the next turn we go. I do have a lot of money, but I, ca I can't spend it all. I got more money than I know what to do with. I guess I could look into buying settlements, as I've thought about before. Uh, what is this? What is this? Oh, that's uh, Dankalad. Uh, I don't think there's any point in trying that. Nah. Sauron's will. I can't break them. And it's a uh, shitty orc settlement, so no towers either. So even if I wanted to cheese my way to victory somehow, not possible. It's fine, it's fine. Like, so he's laying siege to the Golden Gate. I th still think even if he attacks me from the right side of the gate or the wrong side, depending on your perspective, I still think the battle map is always the same. I don't think that actually coming behind us, they th still have to breach their way through, I'm pretty sure. So that's probably a good thing, otherwise I'd have to build like a second gate. Like, uh, wasn't that what Caesar did at Alicia? Nazgul returned to the Goldur, that's fine. Actually, now that we have Baradur or Baradkar, I don't think any of the Mordor Nazgul can respawn, right? I'm pretty sure they can't. The Goldur besieged. Logath is not happy about something. Eh, yeah, we'll make him happy with this shrine. Golden Boat, barely a garrison. Oh, fuck. Where did he come from? Alright. That's actually not that big of a problem, because that leaves Enethaur. Oh, actually, I want to move you myself to put down watchtowers. Okay. Um, so did that Nazgul just immediately come inside of Dolgul? No, what is it? Hacktrack will probably attack me. Hmm. That would be a lot of guys to deal with. I could potentially lift the siege, wipe them out, and then they siege again. That is a possibility. Or I just wait for them. Because, then, yeah, I think if they attack me now, I still think we can win that. And that would give me Dol Guldur with relative ease. Otherwise, I'd have to wait even longer. And Hakatrak Sami will probably be able... I'll be able to route them relatively easily, is what I'm thinking. Alright, anyway, first things first. That guy fucked off at Varfest, perfect. We hold the roads, so we can actually walk pretty damn far. Luke Tuck, I'm gonna... Ah, oh, you're just out of range, you're lucky! Okay, oh shit, he's got Olokai and Greenbeast, what an army. <laughs> the two most strong units that Mordor has. Okay, but Mukalko's gonna come in, we're gonna leave Galbrand alone for a little bit, we're gonna go straight and clean up these settlements. Actually, he's emptied Urkest a lot. Don't tell me he's moving towards Baratkar. No, no armies on the move there. How much are you making by now, actually? You're not making anything? What? You're not actually on the thing? Ah, oh, damn it. I was missing out on all that gold, damn it. So much money lost, and I really need it. <laughs> Alright, catapults. I don't care about riots. Fuck riots. The dragons don't get an amount of gathering ground, so we can get some of these lads. Uh, let's upgrade that. Strong lost got a great haul. So I can get the better barracks. Wonderful. Get more troops. Uh, Santan, we got army barracks. Nice. Oh, yeah, I got access to the full roster now. Uh, if anything, if I can get more recruitment slots, that might be. That might make the way station actually worth it. Or I can get the stables. Ooh, I can get Mumakil. Yeah, yeah. That's a no brainer. Uh, Viltur got the fountains. Don't actually get anything from that. Let's get some troops. And let's get an armory to reduce corruption. Mountain Caligon got the bazaar. I love saying that. Bazaar. Let's get a large bazaar. Alright. Dornarak got the sanctuary. Let's upgrade that to a shrine just for more culture. Burgram got the great hall so I can get the better barracks. Wonderful. Soon that will be able to produce a lot of units as well. Amurun got a town guard. Okay, I can actually train troops. Nice. Let us... It's a decent bit of corruption here, so let's get an armory there. And Baratkar got the shrine upgraded. Very good, so culture will be skyrocketing now. I think I might get trade routes. 
Yeah, let's get the temple. We want to max out culture there right away because that will open up a lot of possibilities, I think. Wonderful. Recruitment reports. I'm not going to go through all of that individually. Um, Doctor A. Let's move you to Baratka. That's actually a pretty alright force. Dumra, keep on trucking. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You guys team up. Nice, we actually have a decent chunk of units coming in now. Um, let's see. You guys, you know where to go. Everyone else knows where to go as well. And Mahath, get these guys on the front line. No lazing about, unfortunately. As much as I like to do so. Alright, um, let me train them. Looking as Rim are always welcome. Boomer kill, how many more turns? 74. I expect this campaign to be over by then, but you never know. I'm still not convinced that I'm going to do a world domination, even though some people are still clamoring for it. Alright, uh, Rukar. Let's follow the road just to be safe. There's Tharband. It is completely undefended. There's literally just one general there. Where is that? That was like a random small orc army. Where the hell did... Oh. There we go. <laughs> I love it when a question answers itself. Alright, let's take him down and that will secure our southern front. And that's actually probably the largest chunk of territory controlled by one settlement. Probably in combination with Izzy Town as well. The Plain of Lithlat and then Nern. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okie dokie. Nothing too crazy here. Just knock down the gate, kill anyone that's inside, kill anyone that's outside that's not clad in gold. And that's pretty much it. I'm sorry, Ballista crew, you're not clad in gold, so you have to go. Actually, that would be pretty cool if our Ballista was like, I don't know, like gold embroidered or something like that. Just to showcase our immense wealth. Like, you'd, you'd be able to buy a more expensive version of the Ballista with the exact same stats, but just, you know, big dick energy. Any sub-mod developers, reach out to me, okay? I know what this game needs. It needs more big dick energy. Alright, let's bring the ballista a little bit closer. Um, I'm actually really inclined to just blow up the orc general. I'm also inclined to have Rukar clean out that entire regiment here. On his own. Just because I know he can do it. Okay. Rukar! I'm telling you, this game needs big dick energy and Rukar is ready to deliver it. Those archers won't even know what hit him. Um, no, slow down. There we go. Look at that unit, it's just getting completely obliterated. Especially if they keep running through because then our impact just gets amplified. Down to 20. There's a lot of noise going on outside, I'm not sure what's happening. Yeah, nothing apparently. Weird. Sounded like there was actual battle going on outside my window, which uh, not ideal. Oh. Now I know what the noise is. It's this random guy driving. I'm not sure if that's just the Belgian thing or if that's another country as well. But it's like this guy driving around with like a truck and he like picks up like uh Old junk you don't need anymore, like old dishwashers or whatever. So, not sure if that's a thing in other countries, but it's definitely a thing in Belgium. It's usually the weekend. It's uh, yeah. not sure what that's all about. Judge, less than ideal angle, but still quite effective. Just look at this. <laughs> not one golden boy among them. Oh, we did lose one golden boy here. Alright, you guys, you're just gonna blow up the orc. The Uruk bodyguard. Charge him again, Sam. 162, we can actually route them. Why did you charge on the same position? Alright, push through, you can push through. Could use my servant's elixir, but... Not sure where those guys are running off to. I mean, if they want to run towards my fire legion, then... Go right ahead. You won't like it. Alright, another charge. But yeah, this guy just, just drives around the area with like a big ass microphone. He's like, hello, if you have any junk, please send it my way. Which, you know, 
It's actually a pretty good system. We get rid of our junk. That guy, he could probably make like a buck out of it or something. I don't know what he does with it. I don't really care to be honest. But if he wants to take out the trash, I can give him a couple of uh, Mordor prisoners in a moment. Although I'm not really in the mood to take prisoners, but hey, if I have to. Alright, mom's away, motherfuckers! <laughs> Welcome to the New World Order, bitch! Another volley! Whee! They're not having a good time. I wonder why. Another one! I really wanted to kill the general with that. Alright, uh, get rid of that. It's a bit of a waste of my dragon bodies, but whatever. We've come this far. I think the Uruk bodyguards are actually AP. Yeah, that's that's less than ideal, but how do we compare? 12, 21. Oh, we're also AP. 9, 18. We should have no problem with them, so. Judge! Break, 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 break! How many times do I have to ask? Oh, come on, man. Do me a favor. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, have a look in. These Uruk bodyguards are doing surprisingly well. I'm starting to think my guys aren't actually AP. They're probably just AP with their bombs, but not their swords. That would make more sense. Alright, let's charge you head on. Sound the charge! Take them head on! And then we'll charge them in the rear. Actually, it doesn't have to come to that. Because I can charge them in the rear, they'll turn around, and then these guys can... So we don't actually take a charge ourselves. If that makes sense. See, they don't get a charge bonus. They will probably be like, oh no, we're in battle, so they're not going to charge my Shadow Guard, who will then get a charge off without them taking a charge. If that makes sense. There we go, that actually... I think I took less casualties than first charging my Camel Shadow Guard head-on. Still kind of regret sending in my dudes now, but... Alright, Rukar, finish this. And there we go, General dead. And you're fucked. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh. Oh. Where did these guys come from? Oh, they won't last. Kill them before the Maulers reach us. Yes. 22 casualties. 3%. 421. Ah. Oh, so close. Dragon Warriors. Yeah, they lost 22. Kills 86. Heal 2. That wasn't necessary, but hey, it is what it is. Alright. Quickest execution ever. There we go. Thar Band is ours. I'm going to exterminate it because I want to get Rukar back on the front line immediately. Actually, what I might be able to do, if I take Mr. Rukar and we'll leave behind the Fang Legion, I might be able to send him to take this settlement here if it's not too heavily defended. And that will make the work of Mukalku, just look how large the territory is, just a little bit easier. Yeah, that might actually work out, especially with the reinforcements we got inbound. Do, 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 do. Okay, am I at the end of my turn then? Am I building everywhere? I'm not building an Elgair. Why not? You can always use extra Ballista. Uh, just go over the settlements real quick. Quintilian Raur, I can get so many troops here. You know what? I'll take the Armory. Why not? Uh, Erin Runen. Uh, nothing really of use. I'll get the military largins, why not? But Alga, same deal here. Might as well, I really have too much money. Smog's Vengeance, I'm not, oh, I'm not building anything there. Okay, I've got an extra general in the last vineyard. I have to keep that in mind. Dragon Fang, okay, Rawberg. Boop, 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 boop. Still a bit of corruption. Let's get the militia armory. Just to get more money. My greed is <laughs> unrivaled. Smog was just jump change compared to my greed. Alright. Hakam. I'm gonna send you towards Rawberg. So you can meet up with these guys, which we'll probably have to pull back. So be it. Alright, I think that is an end turn then. 
I'm very much expecting an attack here, and I'm so ready for it. Mentally ready, not physically ready. I'm in the mood to do the battle. I'm not sure if it will be a success, but... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see! What's the worst that could happen, right? Have you seen, have you seen the size of our territory? Come on. Even if we lose those small, like, border regions, it's just a matter of time before we retake it. Ah, yeah, that was to be expected. I'm gonna pull back. Okay, okay, that's actually working out. It's actually working out. He moved his army in the direction of um, Condovan, I think. So that's actually pretty good. I might be able to punish him for that. Anyway, first things first. We didn't get attacked at Dolguldur. Just waiting for more lads to arrive. Oh lord. Alright, why are you unhappy? I just built something new to make you happy, but you're actually just as unhappy as before. Alright, so I'll just send over a random shitty unit. Nope, still unhappy? You're actually more unhappy. What? This game is so random sometimes. See, I got siege equipment, so I can actually take Golden Boat in one turn. Then that guy's gonna fuck off, because he no longer borders any of these settlements. And we actually have a decent um, force then in the Golden Boat, so let's take it back. Wouldn't be an easy campaign if I start at the next episode without Golden Boat. We need to have the settlement. And then we can continue onwards from there. A short fight and a long life after to tell tales of your bravery. That's a strangely inspirational speech. But uh, yeah, it's a short fight and then more fighting afterwards, I'm afraid. Uh, no rest for the wicked. Alright, let's just blitz him down. Do I have any arches? Yeah, I do actually. Nothing crazy, but a decent amount of cavalry as well. It's a pretty nice army, actually. Alright, um. Fire away. Get some warning shots in. You gonna hit anything? Mm, almost. Alright, let's take down this gate. And then use the rest of our ammo. Actually, you know what? I think we can already use the ballista to hit the enemy. Catapult, you can hit the gate. If you hit, just hit it like three times, the gate's down. It's a stationary object. How hard can it be? Apparently not that hard. Okay, apparently very hard. Come on, man. Adjust your aim. See, one hit does 30%, but it's... it's... Okay. Can you not hit them? Come on, catapults. There we go. That's a hit. Oh, shit. I think we might have pissed them off. Not sure why I'm acting surprised about that. We're literally lobbing rocks at their face. Not sure what that guy is doing. Not sure that I care. You can actually hit them? Just pretending? I just want to get some free kills. Oh, he's trying to hit those guys. Okay, that works. Catapult, hit something. You're either fighting way too low or way too high. Hmm. Oh, we sniped that guy. Just want to get like a few lucky shots in. We literally killed two guys. Like, come on. Alright. Send in the infantry. Just want to be a little bit careful with my lads, you know. No. Oh. Oh, uh oh, oh. Stop that. Naughty. No, you're gonna get screwed over, mate. No, 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 no. Don't let him get away. I actually lost. Uh, I should have probably used shield wall real quick. Nice. It's a quick uh, continuation of events. He runs! He's captured! We're winning! Perfect. Okay. 
So now he's using those spare archers in the back to fire on me. I guess I can move. The thing is, just go and shield one and just push him off. Like, come on. If the AI can do that with me, then I can do that with the AI. Come on, what's taking you so damn long? I know that they're doing like the spread out bullshit, but really shouldn't be taking you this long. They use their poison arrow shit. Alright. Get them out of here. I definitely lost more men than was necessary. Okay. We have Sidon Stebos. That is surprisingly tough. The Goblin Headhunters. Leave me alone. I'm not looking for a job. Give them another charge. Nice. Another one. It's actually surprisingly effective. Another one. My favorite kind of cap charge is the one that are surprisingly effective. And another one! Wonderful. Alright, finish him off. The golden bird is ours. You better know it. My lord, our men are in command of the city. Better remember. Alright, it's the last couple of headhunters. There we go. That cannot be said otherwise. Mostly lost some Haradrim spear, but that's actually not too bad. Okie do. And now this army will panic. They'll probably try to at least siege the golden boat. Why are they unhappy? Literally, I had this settlement just moments before. <laughs> Don't tell me they changed the entire culture structure. Yeah, they destroyed my sanctuary. Besides that, they really shouldn't have destroyed anything. Alright, so now Kanamdur can continue onwards. Towards Anathaur. They're still laying siege to Dorgodur, so they're just being pincer maneuvered. <sighs> really beefed up their troops there. You know what, I'll wait for them to attack me and then just withdraw. And then they'll probably move out with a smaller force. And then I got them. I can grab them right where... Yeah, let's not talk about that. Um, cool. You are moving quite rapidly, actually. Which is very, very, very good. Listen, mate. I'm gonna have to get rid of the Olokai as well as the Great Beasts, and I have the perfect tool for that, the Dragon Breath. I think this is the last of the special units that we haven't used yet. I don't recall ever using it in a custom battle myself, so this will be uh, just as new for me as it is for you. So let's find out what damage the Dragon Breath can do. On paper it looks like a very good unit, but it'll all depend just on how accurate it is on the actual battlefield. Alright, let's do it. Just Great Beasts and Olokai. I'm not sure if my uh, Dragon Breath, that it is the Hwacha, is capable of um, taking down a Great Beast or the Olokai with one shot, like a catapult is. What's it range actually? That no, doesn't mention it, but we can check that on the map, right? Um, let's put it here. Okay, so its range is up until here. The catapult, by comparison, if I put it roughly in the same spot, is actually about as far it seems. No, the Hotcha is actually a pretty decent bit further. Nice, okay. Um, right. Right, 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 right. Also, I noticed that the Dragon Breath is actually using like Arulat type or Daretai type uh, men to f wield it. I wish they would do the same with the catapult. Just tie it in a little bit more, make it a little bit more thematic. Anyway, now I'm complaining about its details. So we're going to use the range of our beautiful instruments of death and destruction to hopefully kill the great beasts and their friends before they can get too close. I'm also going to use my dragon warriors to that effect. And hopefully I don't have to rely on my infantry. If I do, that means things have gone south. Okay, they're pretty far away. Are they coming in my direction? The Watcher can actually almost reach them. Uh, I hope it's just a one-hit kill, super accurate. <laughs> just the best thing we've got right now. 
In my tier list, the Dragon Wrath Cataphracts and the Cast Chosen are still like S tier. Dragon Warriors, they're like A tier. The Dragon Wrath Crossbowmen, I guess they're like A or B. I'm hoping these guys are A at the very least. S would be much appreciated as well. Let's see. In terms of range, they're already scoring points, so that's good. Pew pew pew! Oh, that is a premature explosion. Oh shit, okay. It seems we've got an S tier. <laughs> they one hit kill. Good. And they're decently accurate, it seems. Oh, yes. Oh, Sauron. If I face Sauron on the field, he's fucking screwed as well. Alright, Hatches fight on the Olokai, take him down. Through the fire and the flames. I can't believe that didn't hit anyone. I get those trolls out of here. They might prove to be a threat. Those great beasts need to go down, actually. Uh, so, watch out if you could actually, uh, you know, <laughs> kill them. Put the Dragon Wrath Swift Plates as well. I'm not sure if we've used them before. I think so as part of a custom general. Look, Sion Rim. Oh! That is a lot of friendly fire. I didn't realize I had Dragon Warriors here. Oh lord. That almost went terribly wrong. How to waste some of your best units. A guide by Izzy. <laughs> It actually wasn't too bad. Those bombs actually didn't kill too many. The Swift Blades I think will have a fine time against the Olokai. I'm more worried about losing my... I thought the Scion Dream would do better against the Great Beast. Maybe I'll have to lob some bombs on them. Come on, Great Beast, I thought you'd go down a little bit easier. Oh, there we go. They're running amok. So if we can get one more volley off, that'd be perfect. Alright, all right, chill, chill, chill. Let the let the great beasts. Let them just chill and just fire with our bows and arrows on them. Don't run a mock in my direction. Come on, mate. This running a mock is really annoying. Is that 85%? That is 85%, but I'm a little bit worried that it won't count. Let's take down the last great beast, please, before he does anything bullshit. Okay, thank god. I lost more lads than I would have liked, <laughs> but we killed the Olokai and the Great Beast, so that's a great relief that they're not part of a larger army. Hotcha, not bad, pretty good. Could do with a little bit more accuracy, but I think they'll shine a lot more against clusters of infantry instead of these, you know, few smaller targets. Well, not the smaller, they're bigger targets, but they're more spread out, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Alright. Bye-bye. Now Mukalku can just waltz in. Hello, Gathorn. Can you leave my gate alone, please? I'm gonna have to blow you up, mate. I'm sorry. You leave me no choice, but uh, I kind of want everything you own. Oh, where the hell are we? We're on some slope of Gorgoroth somewhere. Oh, lord. That's gonna be ridiculously annoying. Alright, uh... Guess I'll position myself here, so it... Oh, it's what is this? So the enemy can spawn all the way over there, they can spawn all the way down there, who knows. I'm gonna put my troops here in the assumption that they're up there. If they're not up there, then I can turn around pretty easily and just fire down upon them. This is a very weird... I'll put some infantry here just in case. Uh, and then get the rest of them. Actually, I'm pretty sure my Lok Scion Rim can use stakes. Yes, they can. Wonderful. I have no idea what I'm doing. Such a weird map. Okay, where are they? The... How do I even... What? Let's wait a little bit for them to reposition. 
I mean, watch out. If you want to try and shoot them, then go ahead. Could maneuver you, like, up here. That might actually not be a bad call. That might actually be a genius call. Hmm. Because they can't get up that as way too... Yeah, that's way too steep. Oh, so that is my army, okay. I thought that was enemies as well. Where are they going? They're trying to get up there. There's no way. They're not going to Skyrim horse their way up there. Nah. Impossibly. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. Talking about Skyrim horse, I've actually been considering doing another playthrough of the Elder Scrolls Total War, but I'm not sure which faction to play. I was thinking of doing Talvani, but I played through that first couple turns and it was actually pretty pretty boring, because there's not really any enemies in that area in Morrowind. So I'm not sure what you guys think about that, if you have any factions you'd love to see me play through. If so, let me know in the comments. But otherwise, I'll just probably do some more testing to see if any factions kind of click. Alright, this is working out. I'm actually using that terrain to my advantage. My Q trolls. I got Loknarim. They have fire arrows. Which are armor piercing. Which is actually more important than the fact that they're fire arrows. Alright, dragon breath coming up slowly but surely. Ah, nice. The trolls are taking a beating. They're like, oh, help, how do we get up there? Mr. General! Talk about the general. There he is. Oh, I've got some delights to show you, my friend. I can get you in just the right angle. I think that's as good as we'll get. Alright, make way for the dra- No, 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 don't run, don't run. Shh, 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 don't run. No, 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 no. You don't have to run. You don't have to go anywhere. Alright, they're in range. Give them hell, boys. Whee! Ooh, nice. But that seems to be something wrong with the sound effect, though. They're not actually doing any sound, so it's, it's like a silent killer. Which makes it all the more scary. Okay, they're moving around. Hold your position, they might come in range again. I'm not sure where they're going exactly. 46% already down. That's quite good. But I'm not sure where they're going now, like... You're gonna try to meet my infantry? Kinda weird. Uh, in a way, I kinda wish I had the AI enabled for these guys. But then again, they probably would've already died by now. Okay. Right away. If you can. It says you can. But you're not doing so. No. You're not really feeling it. Just kinda. That's okay. We all have those days. Yeah, I'm not sure. Can I move all the way around or something? I can't hit them like this, that's for sure. But if they're down there, I might be able to hit them. Okay, no, you just made it worse. Catapult over there. That lead to the party. The watch are seemingly moving faster than the catapult, which is a small little buff, but didn't go unnoticed. Um, Dragon Warriors. I'll pop you up here. They can't scale that, and then we got support from them. The watch has in range. I'm not sure I was gonna hit anything. Just don't blow yourself up, please. That's all I'm asking. You can try all you want, use your ammo, I don't care, just don't blow yourself up. Okay, there they are. Nice. Another one! Nice. Then the herd. Kill those trolls, preferably. Feels like I'm playing Fall of the Summer Day. We're just on a completely different level of technology <laughs> compared to Mordor. They have lost half their men. Come on, Hotcha, I don't remember saying stop. These trolls are being surprisingly tough. 
but soon they'll be in the range of my dragon warriors. Oh, apparently already so. This is where they excel. Fire! Throw those bombs! Come on! Uh, excuse me. I don't want to be complaining, but... You say you're in range. Uh, you don't see the enemy, but just, just throw in that general direction. That'll be fine, I promise you. Come on! Okay, there's a little bit of a hesitant throw. There we go. Your timing is uh, quite narrow, I must admit, but if it works, then it's a thing of beauty. On the halberds now, please. Okay, no. You really don't like those trolls? That's fine. Yikes, I told you to fight on the halberds, mate. Alright. Gotta pull, please stop. <laughs> Frightening me. Nice. Horns made of fucking clay, mate. And I fight with horns made of Mithril. Uh, Why do I have halberds again? <laughs> they always let me down. Why do I even try using those guys? Like Alright. The there you go. Black Gate is mine, Golden Gate is mine, whatever you want to call it, it's mine. You have no right to it. And I only lost 15! <laughs> and this should open up the road to Orkestalat and Durthang quite nicely, which is perfect. Things are finally looking out for the Golden Horde once more. Boom! Gatekeeper, I have done your work for you. Don't make me do it again. I'm gonna sit in this fort menacingly. <laughs> So yeah, next up, uh, Orkestalad and Durthang, right? You can take the both of those pretty damn rapidly, I think. Um, why is Izzy Town unhappy? Come on, lads. Oh, I can get a spy there. Wonderful. I'll pop you there. Mordor does not like me. Big surprise. Sauron is disappointed. And I'm just... I'm just laughing. Alright, let's build some stuff. Unless I want those better roads. Dragon's Lake, Trading Post... Uh, let's get a port back up and running. Oibamari, we got the roads there, which is quite helpful. Let's get the guild house. Okay, we're trading lads. We actually have a decent garrison there. Tarfidin got the shrine. Let's get... Do we want the temple? Nah, not really. Let's get the great hall. Gizzlecum got an exchange as well. Uh, let's get some roads there, because we still have those shitty dirt paths. Logarth got the shrine. These people are still unhappy. Like, come on, man. Um, let's build a Warlord's Hall for happiness. Maybe I should get hookers instead. Dorthalu got the shrine. Let's get some roads as well. I want roads over my entire empire. Ostaneri, let's get the green exchange. Jelkar got a trading post. Nice, that's going to become a wealthy settlement as well. Let's repair the walls first and foremost. And get better roads. And that's all, just rebuilding stuff. Let's click. Alright, I'm actually losing money again. Uh, not really. Still making more than I'm spending. Alright, you lads keep on trucking. Now we're looking in the north. Amdur is so close. So, we have a lot of battles to look forward to. In the next episode, Rukar will be arriving uh, in this settlement. Actually, we can do a toggle for it. Right. I'll already have forgotten everything I'm seeing right now by uh, the start of the next episode. So, Rukar can take Morigost, which seemingly has changed place a little bit. I thought it was more here, but he'll take Morigost. I can already make use of that right now. Um, then Mr. Mukalku will take both Durthang and Urkestalad. And then we can converse on Kiridongul and Minas Morgul. And at that point we've taken all the quote-unquote historic settlements of Mordor. Uh, with an exception for Galabrin. And we need to retake Dankalad as well. But that's, you know... We'll take care of that later. At the same time, Kavatha is laying siege to Guldur. They are probably going to attack me relatively soon. Meanwhile, Amdur is sweeping in from behind, taking settlements that we lost, which I need to rename that guy to Kathir, I think his name was. So Dol Guldur, they will be falling pretty rapidly as well. Uh, at that point, the main objective will be to take down Gondor, which that's actually going to take a long time as well, because they have they've actually been doing a very good job at defending their land. Sure, they lost Minas Tirith and Kalanhad, but I really expect them to be doing much, much worse, and I think they actually have a decent shot 
of retaking Minas Tirith. Also, I still have no idea where the hell Sauron is. He might be in Minas Morgul, he might be in Kirithongul, who knows. In fact, I can actually maybe scout ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no, that's First Lieutenant Lun Lunbuk. Who have you got? What on guard? That's literally the worst general's bodyguard I've ever seen, I think. So yeah, things are looking quite spiffy. I don't care too much about Khan. It seems they've kind of backed off as well, so I'm not too keen to completely eradicate them. I'm quite happy with the lands I currently hold. So all in all, things are looking quite, quite good. So I thank you once more for joining me for this episode, and I hope to catch you soon for episode number 30, if I'm not mistaken.